Okay, here we go. Can you tell us your name and what school you work at and what you teach? Sure. Hi, my name is Yu Hong, and you can call me uh, Catherine by English name, sort of like adopting the northern culture. And uh, I teach at Burma May School. I teach from fifth until twelfth in Mandarin. And uh, this is my first trip with the educators from the United States back to China. And you've been here before. I've been here. I've been here before. I'm Chinese. I grew mm -hmm. up in China. Yeah. And you've come with kids as well. With yeah. students. Yeah. Every two years in my school, we have we call it winter trip. Every two years, high school, ninth grade until twelfth. I take students who ever take Mandarin or interested in Chinese culture. I take them to China or Asia uh, every two years. This year in March we went to South Korea and we went to Xi'an. And in 2009 we went to Beijing. Mm -hmm. And why do you think it's um, teacher travel is important? Because teacher travel is different because teachers have like different perspective about like teaching methods or teaching strategies, especially with American um, American teachers, because they can bring uh, whatever they use in the classroom in the States, and they visit the schools uh, in China, they can sort of like to see what we teach in the state, what we teach in China, and they sort of like maybe combine with the Chinese method, or think about, think about what's the values of uh, Chinese uh, strategies or whatever Chinese teaching, they can combine whatever good for them they can bring back to the States. And that's what I'm doing right now because I'm a Mandarin teacher and I want to bring like the Chinese culture to the students, but at the same time I teach American kids, right? You cannot totally use the Chinese teaching to the American kids because it doesn't work. Chinese teachers are very strict with the students. I have a lot of fun. I'm young. I always like play games with my students. So it doesn't work with the Chinese teaching method. So I use sort of like Chinese Americanized mm -hmm. way to teach my students. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also uh, in terms of question, I think that for traveling with teachers is better than the students. First, you don't have responsibilities, you know, it's kind of like, you know, get rid of responsibilities. And that the most important thing is that teachers have the deeper or more interest in knowing, uh, for example, I travel with this, this tour, I mean, all of you guys, you are know more about know more about Chinese history or Asian history or all of the history. I mean, the history all over the world. So you have you can ask more deeper questions and interested uh, in the culture like more and more instead of the students. I mean, students love the culture as well, but somehow they don't know how to, you know, uh, initiate a, a conversation to in terms of some questions. So teachers always have deeper thoughts. You know, you are. You, you know, I think you are better. You know better than students in terms of like what you teach. Mm -hmm. So I think it's bad beneficial. And also, you can learn from different teachers as well. You can learn, you know, from like Mandarin teacher. You can learn from history teacher, history, Asian history, or modern history. You can learn from different people. You can share ideas. So it's better to see one culture from different perspectives, so from different persons. So I think the experience, everybody have a different experience in terms of one thing. Maybe one small thing, you know, maybe like for Chinese I have the same experience, but for Americans each person have the same experiences. So it's good to share. Mm -hmm. That's a very good point, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> It won't stop. Can't get to the stop. Oh, funny, it won't stop. Oh.